you know, the best way that you can allow God to fight your battle is leaving the battle for him to fight. You know, just like if anything happens between you and someone, and you inform your parents about it, and they said, okay, don't worry, we will settle the case. That means you left it in their hands to settle it. Because they are your parents, you believe them that they are going to settle it. So you allow your mind to be like tricks. So likewise, when anything happened to you, and you know that this thing is beyond what you can handle. You could not handle it. Then leave it to go to handle it. Although some people, that's why they could choose to live in peace. They don't want you to live in peace. And because of that, you are just stressing yourself unnecessarily. They have walked you and you are thinking, oh, <clears throat> what a big time. The time has come to hold them back. But guess what? Just leave it for God to handle. He will undo it perfectly for you and you will be at rest. You can look at the story of, you know, Joseph in the Bible. Despite his brothers, you know, they were aware about his dreams. They thought, oh, you, it's not possible for us to bow down. You are our younger brothers, so it's not going to happen. And the thought, the next thing is to get rid of, to get rid of Joseph. But they don't know that in their plan, God will stay with them. They, they think they are going to attack him. They, they think, no, it's not going to happen. This, that, this thing is not going to happen in the house. We are going to send you out of the house. But they don't know. We are talking about destiny here. Even God was the one that put Joseph in that family to be able to help them. But they could not see. They were so selfish that they don't want their brothers to be above them. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's the young, they cannot be above you. No. God knew what he was doing. He just put Joseph in that farm to be able to save them. Bill of farming. But they thought, uh-uh. And at the end, Joseph was the one that saved them during farming. When Joseph saw them from far, he's supposed to love oh, thoughts within himself. Oh my goodness, what a great time to attack these people. I don't, 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 Joseph could recognize him from far away, but they couldn't. You know, that was a big time for Joseph to say, Oh, you guess that's part all you did. I'm going to deal with you guys mercilessly. But Joseph, this was nothing like that. He just like when God has already vindicated you. So you just look at the situation, you love, see what you have done to me. Well, see where I am now. So not every time that when people criticize you, you know, they try to do something evil to you. They don't know that they are just they are just pushing you to a place of destiny. When they give you invitation to fight, just ignore it. You can't control how they behave. You can't control their character. But you can control how you allow it to get to you. Thank God that God has given us that power to control how we respond to people criticizing. The way they criticize or the way they say something about it. That is their own opinion. 
But guess what? If you look at the Romans 12, 19. Let me read this to you. We need to read our Bible. Mm. This is the manual for life. They do not take vengeance. Verse 19. Romans 12, 19. My dear friends. But leave room for God's word. For it is written. Vengeance is mine to avenge. I will repay. Says the law. On the contrary, that's verse 20. But I just want to stop from verse 19. God said, don't do it. Don't avenge. I'm going to do it. So that means when you take vengeance by yourself, you are taking what belongs to God. If we do it at perfect time. So, just realize that, you know, leave it to God to handle. Although there are some things that people, you know, they have done to you. You don't like it. You feel like, ah, if I remember what so -so has done to me, I feel like crying. See, don't worry. There's something called law of karma. It will come. Sure, everything that we saw will surely repeat. <laughs> the more we are still on this earth, you, you will repeat. So when people offended you, you know that this thing, you don't even know anything about it. But they keep shouting your name. Please, let them keep doing it. But you know how to fight in your secret place. That is the place of prayer. That is where on your knees, you win battles. Battles has been won and it will continue, will continue to be winning it. Our God is not a microwave, but there's something we pray for. Just wait. It's going to answer you. Some can take time and some can be... Mm. So, he answered by fires. He will answer us according to our needs. Don't take vengeance. Because by the time you try to take it, you might be hurting yourself too. People that have offended you, they might be, see, both of you can see come together later and, you know, you will see help each other. So leave your battle, leave it to God to handle. He will handle that battle perfectly. And you will look back, you will give him the glory that, thank you. So who are you not to see someone to talk about you or to attack you? When, when you read the Bible, the story of Joseph, this one, they are his brothers, his blood. Not to talk of you that friends or family, they do this to you and you want to kill yourself because of that. Just hold on. The Lord is coming for you. He will come for you powerfully. Because of you don't even, there are some things that you don't even know anything about it. And because people heard the story, they don't want to help you. They are not God. If God has put anyone in the position to help you, they will help you. God has sons and daughters everywhere. So if God is telling you to help someone, you don't help them. Another God will get another person to help them. He can even send a child to stand up for your help. So don't take vengeance. It belongs to God, please. Let him handle it. I love you all. And remember to subscribe and turn up the notification button. Thank you. Bye.